with the lights and her toys. It looks super sweet, especially at night once that backdrop over there is closed off and dark. It's gonna look really cool inside, but. <laughs> Going on, he rolls. Welcome back to the vlog. Who's your good boy? Who's your little good boy? Who's your little good boy? Hey, what you doing on top of the bed? See this again for some weird reason, they just don't seem to understand. They just keep throwing everything everywhere. Honestly, Emma has been a lot better this time around than Clementine because Clementine just made a complete mess down here. She keeps leaving her towels everywhere. At least Emma is just stacking up clothes. Basically, her entire bed is fixed. She just needs to clean this out, which is not that bad. Only other reason why we're in here is because. Emma keeps complaining that Clementine keeps crossing her bed and then bugging her, which I knew was going to be a problem. So I ended up buying something that they're going to really enjoy. This way it creates some privacy, but it's also going to create an issue because, well, you guys see, you'll see what I mean. No, Dean, you can't go out. Emma already showered you. You can't go out. Bruh, again with the Joey lips? Again with the Joey lips? Did you have fun today? Yeah. Yeah? Nobody hit you in the face with a ball? No. What about you, tea time? You had fun today? Nobody hit you in the face with a ball? Okay. I mean, no cream betweens right now. First, I'm gonna make some food. Then you're gonna sit down and you're gonna do homework. Okay? No cream betweens till after. You two, t you two, mamas, go play in your room for right now. I'm gonna make you some lunch, and then you're gonna have some cream betweens. And then we still gotta go to the store. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. I know that we went to the store yesterday, but we're gonna go to the store for something specific today. But first, like I said, I'm gonna make you a snack. For Frank? And then for Frank? I got you some prime already. Oh, Look, I got one prime only. I can only find one prime, so that means that you, T10, and I are gonna have to split this. After you eat your food, you're gonna have to do your homework, okay? Emma, come sit down and eat your food. You need to pick up all these toys. Put them in these little boxes right here, these little baskets, okay? You guys see what I'm talking about? This is a moon cover. So I need to put these little sticks through the center right here so it creates a little arch and then it's gonna go hooked on top of the bed so it creates a nice little arch and it has a little flap at the bottom with a little split so it'll be able to open right here. And if you guys can see, Clementine actually has lights down there. So once we put the little moon thing on top, it's gonna illuminate with the lights. It's gonna look really nice on the inside. The problem is that because it's gonna have that nice little shell on top, we're not gonna actually be able to see what they're doing in there and then that's just gonna create a problem because they're gonna be stacking up a bunch of trash in there. We're not gonna be able to actually see it. I'm not so worried about Clementine doing that. I'm more worried about Emma doing that. And at the same time, you see the way Emma's bed is positioned? That means that the little flap is not gonna be able to come down properly and then um, she's not gonna be able to use the stairs properly. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put it on there where it makes sense, where she can still enjoy it, but at the same time is now obscuring her view. All right, so I just came up to a dilemma. Check this out. So she needs these stairs right here so that she can go up and down, all right? But at the same time, she needs a gap on this side so that when they're watching TV, she'll actually be able to watch it. But the problem is that these hooks go on all the corners. So if I put the, the hooks where they're supposed to go, this whole section is gonna be blocked off. She won't be able to see the TV. And at the same time, I can't block this off because how else is she gonna get up? And the point of, of covering up is so that she doesn't go up her bed and then come across like this. You guys see what I mean? Okay, now she has a nice little tunnel right here. The back is still open because Emma's is not up yet, but she has a complete section of privacy right here. But like I said, the stairs are open so that she can go up properly, but now she can't see the TV. The good thing is, like I said, See how it has this little flap right here? Now look. With the lights and her toys. It looks super sweet, especially at night once that backdrop over there is closed off and dark. It's gonna look really cool inside, but she can't watch TV. All right, there it is. You see what I mean? And now Clementine can't actually go over there and bug her and she can't cross the bed because there's a little barrier. But again, we're back to the same problem. Emma can see because her head is over here. And it's a perfect view of the TV. Clementine has no way to look at the TV. Yeah, there's no way around it. It's just gonna be stuck like that. And I'm sure in a few days she's gonna get annoyed that she can't see the TV and she's gonna start and she's gonna start complaining. So it's gonna end up coming down. There's no way around it. But anyways, as you guys can see, this is what's, what I was talking about earlier. It creates a nice little force so that they can actually enjoy their own privacy. At the same time, they have privacy in the bottom. I already showed you guys how this looks in the bottom. Unfortunately, Emma does not have any lights because hers blew out. Get a little basket right here, not a cart. Here you go. Hershey's chocolate, boom. All right, keep going that way. Graham crackers, graham crackers. Did you? That's not graham crackers. 
so they don't have any graham crackers so we're gonna have to get the next best thing what is the next best thing um cookies some cookies that should be fine so we have the vanilla wafers we have the hershey's and the last thing we need is marshmallows mm, yummy. marshmallows you know what we're making s'mores s'mores we're gonna make some s'mores all right i'll make it right now huh I'll make it right now. Yeah, we're gonna make it when we get home, okay? Okay. All right. Before we end the night and start making those s'mores, I decided to bring the dogs out so that they can run and get some exercise because they have been stuck in the house. We were gonna take them out yesterday, but it got really cold. It started raining and there was no way that we were gonna do it. So we have the opportunity to do it today before we head home and do those s'mores and then start wrapping it up. These are not the proper ingredients, okay? Just first and foremost. Yes, we do have Hershey's, but these are the little tiny ones and we got those intentionally because these little wafers are so tiny, so they're gonna have to sit perfectly, okay? And then we ended up getting the wrong marshmallows. Unfortunately, they didn't have the regular marshmallows, so we got this marshmallow and it should be fine. So I'm gonna end up stacking a bunch of chocolates on top of the wafers, pop them in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then put the marshmallow on top. I'm not gonna lie, they actually look pretty good. The wafers are nice and warm, the chocolate is melted, the, mu the marshmallow is nice and melted too. Came out pretty good. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog because we're not gonna do much. I'm gonna start dinner and then we're gonna sit down. You know how this goes. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.